what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Random Pick Day. Now today's episode is powered by my sponsor Elgato Gaming and the HD60S capture card. If you guys are looking for 1080p 60 frames a second with no delay and you want to record your gameplay as well just like I do, there is of course a link down below in the description where you can go and pick one of those bad boys up. So getting into today's video then, uh, I've gone with three relatively similar prices. It was something like 45k to 85k for the random pick players. I just wanted some slightly more elite players than previously. Uh, and also, just if you guys haven't seen my video from yesterday, I'm going to insert a quick clip now. Welcome today to a football video. Ready? <laughs> There'll be a link down below in the description if you want to go and watch the full version of that. Hopefully it entices you, that sort of thing. I had a real good time making it, and I wanted to introduce some sort of real-life football onto my channel. But we get to our first player, which is on page 33, all the way along that bloody page. And I think the most interesting player on this page, in my eyes, was either Katamol or Januzovic. And I decided Januzovic actually just had good stats and Katamol hasn't. Sorry, footwiz Dan. So I went with him. He's a futties and all that good stuff. And then on page number one, I choose the very first player. So for my second random pick player, I'm going with 88 rated team of the season, Cerna. Um, and then for our third and final random pick player, we've had one pink, one blue. We're also going to go for another blue here. Someone I don't think I've actually used. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've actually even used this guy. It is team of the season, Mauro Icardi. Someone who's got incredible stats. It's definitely time we picked him up and gave him a go on, uh, on the random pick today. So, um, as always, we go in, we choose our formation, and today's formation is the 4-3-2-1. It is one of my favorites on the game. I've tried to steer away from it over the past few weeks, but it's back now. I wanted to use it today. I had an idea in my head of how things could go. This is where I'm going to play all of the three players. Uh, right back for Cerna, obviously left centre mid for Januzovic, uh, and then obviously the out and out striker for Icardi and the team around them looks like this it's a relatively standard-ish squad um, with a few players that I really really wanted to use, I sort of had to use Alaba and Jilabodji here to get enough chemistry for Januzovic, um, my other centre back, there is an informed version of him but there wasn't any on the market, I was going for the informed version but he just wasn't there um, and then Dar Dario Cerna is the first random pick player today. He is a member of Club 80 and a very, very good one at that. Like his weakest stat is his 83 pace. Pretty insane, I'm not going to lie. That seems to happen for a lot of right backs and left backs on this game. Um, and out, out and out centre midfielders as well. Uh, but he is our first random pick player. Excited to use him today. We've then got Alex Teixeira and Nine Golan in the centre midfield. Two very good players, hard workers. And Teixeira has got four star skills and a lot of pace. Our second random pick player today is the Austrian Zlatko Januzovic. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. Apologies if I'm not. Um, but he's got pretty decent stats across the board. A member of Club 70, you could say. Uh, and of course, those stats are just exactly the same as his regular gold item. Um, I recently did a Roma predictions video for FIFA 17 and it got me in the mood to use El Sharawi and Salah today and Nightingolan as well of course. Uh, I wanted to try those three out and see how good they are on FIFA 16 and see how that translates to FIFA 17 in the coming weeks. But Mauro Icardi is our third and final random pick player today. The Argentine plays for Inter, 88 rated team of the season. That's pretty mad, I'm not going to lie. 86 pace, 91 shooting, 88 dribbling and physical. Really ridiculous stats, but he does only have two star skills. That's probably one of the reasons I've not touched him, or if I have used him, it was only like once. Um, I like at least three star skills typically, because that makes a player a little bit more versatile. Um, but saying that, probably one of my favorite strikers on the game this year is Slimani, and he's only a two star skiller. Uh, it didn't seem to bother me when I was actually playing with this team, though. I made sure I chose like Salah and, uh, and El Sharawi, both four star skillers on this game. And for some reason, all the goals I got with Elshar were complete and utter sweaty tramp goals. Whatever you want to call them, I basically played it across to him each and every time. 
He was in that right spot at the right time. That was just what he was doing for me in this particular squad. And he came out with like four goals. So I can't complain about that. I did have one game in particular where I was up against uh, two players playing for the same team. You know how you can do that sort of um, sharing the gameplay experience with your friend who's in the same room as you type thing. Uh, they went 2-0 up and then I eventually beat them 4-2. And it was one of the most satisfying things ever. Because they were cocky lads on the microphone, you know, sort of giving it the big end. And eventually when I when they left little pockets in the, in the defence and I just scored goals on them, trampy goals, you name it, I did it. And I beat them and it felt very, very nice. Um, we got goals with Salah. I wanted to leave that clip in there from Icardi. Ridiculous shot. Like, if that would have gone in, that would have been spectacular. And I do score one fairly similar to that in just a moment. Um, but he was a goal scorer as well as, um, as I said, like El Shah was scoring those tap-ins. It was mainly Icardi playing the ball to him in that scenario. Um, so he got assists as well as goals, which is great. And that was a fantastic finish right there. Uh, I enjoyed him quite a lot. Uh, I do think he is hindered by the, the, the whole two-star skill thing. And... A little bit of the weak foot, all of that type of stuff. He's a very good right-footed striker, and he has to be in that right spot at the right time. But this Tots version does have some pretty cool stats, and he definitely can uh, find the back of the net for sure. And it's definitely uh, worthwhile to play him up front with players that do have skill moves as well, just like El Shah and Salah, or many other players in the Serie A, or many other Argentine players that you could link him to. Uh, there's a lot of options with this guy. Um, so the squad would have looked a little bit better with that informed centre back. I hate the non-rare style; it just doesn't look good. Um, but I quite like the purple goalie; he did all right. Uh, Alaba, fantastic! Like he just is amazing on this game. And Julabodji was decent as well; played very well. Uh, the Russian, uh, not the Russian guy, the guy from the Ukrainian league um, was relatively solid, not as good as Julabodji. And then Serna, well, let's give him a rating, shall we? I would say that this guy was a three-star value for money and a seven out of ten. That is the most bang average rating you'll get. Um, 60k at this day and age on the game is quite expensive. And I didn't feel like he felt like a, a Club 80 member. Um, so... Yeah, a little bit disappointed in that fact. I'm, I, it's annoying because I really wanted to like him, but I just didn't like him as much as I thought I would. Love nine Golan in the middle. Uh, Teixeira did well as well. And then Januzovic. Well, two and a half star value for money. That doesn't really portray my thoughts about him. He's an eight out of ten player. But this is literally the exact same stats as his regular item. And I had to pay 40k for this one. So just go with a regular one. It will cost you 1,000 coins. You'll get the same player. And he'll be 40 times less than, than this particular one here. Um, nothing but good things to say about Salah and El Sharawi. Both absolutely amazing. Uh, and then Mauro Icardi. What should we rate him then? Overall, 4.5 star value for money. 9 out of 10. As I said, a very, very solid player. Even though I found his skill moves to be a bit of a problem. Sometimes the weak foot as well. Even though he's got 4 star. Um, he's just a little bit lacking on the technical front. But the other players in the team can make up for that. He knows where the back of the net is. He's a finisher. And uh, I think if you play the right people around him, you'll get the best out of him, of course. So that's the random pick for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, check out the football video from yesterday. If you haven't, there's going to be more of that sort of stuff coming up on my channel. So I'm really trying to plug it and get you guys to, to check it out. See if it's your cup of tea. Um, and if it is... If it is, just make sure you just keep the thumbs up going. Leave the comments down below. Let me know the sort of stuff you want to see going forwards. Uh, we are, what, a little while away from Gamescom now. I'm very much excited about that one. And uh, I will catch you next time, guys. Have a great Sunday. Take it easy. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.